Got the Dumbo RC DDF 350. Got the bottom off. I will say it was pretty tough to get that off. Had to double check, make sure I got everything in my package, and I did. The uh, best I know, anyway. We're going to install four rechargeable batteries in it for right this minute. Although it, it does have the uh, capability to be able to just plug in a small 2S pack, battery pack, I think it is. And that's probably what I'll be doing eventually. But for right now, I'm just excited and want to see if it works. Batteries in. Hopefully, I think they're charged. Slide the... It's been a while since I've used batteries. I usually use a rechargeable controller. My DX6R. But I'm going to tell you, this feels good in my hand. Even with the batteries, this is not heavy at all. Uh, it does feel a little heavier, you know, now that you have it in the bottom. But it doesn't feel bad. This is a very good quality film controller. Uh, I really like it. I went with the metal wheel. I would highly recommend that. You can still put a foam over it if you want. Uh, but that it feels really good in your hand. It looks good. Let's see if it'll power on. Here we go. Let's hit the power button. What do you know? Hit power's on. I haven't even pulled off the protective cover over it. Probably should just left that on there. Uh, look at that bling. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, this thing looks good. Let's see how it works here. I don't guess it's got any push button. I don't know what the buttons do yet. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to look on the remote to figure out what does what here. Which I don't have anything programmed to it. So, oh, that's cool. So you can see when you work the throttle. And uh, like I said, hit will do 10 channels. Uh, so I am, oh, I love that look when you give it the gas. You know, if you're giving it the gas or not, that's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, it's even proportional. Check this out. As you give it more, it lights up more. That's pretty cool. That's a cool feature. I like that. Uh, and I don't know if you can change the color, but who would want to? That's Dino RC Green right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I think you can make the buttons light up. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah, when you when you hit them, look there. Now you know if they're on or not. That is awesome. As well with these up here. That's cool. So you can activate them. You know, I never even noticed this either. But these fit these buttons down here fit your fingers perfect. Wow. So you've got a three button. Uh, three they are, I mean, in the perfect location uh, to work with your hand. Look at that. I'm telling you what. Uh, the thumb one's not bad either. I can work it with my thumb. Uh, probably right on the go. Uh, hit sets right in there. And you can just... So it wouldn't be any problem... Uh, Winching in or out and giving it a little bit of gas at the same time. Uh, very happy with that. It has two uh, here that you can work uh, as well. Uh, so those will be uh, fun to fiddle with. Uh, and maybe you can work these as well with the winch. I don't know. I don't think I would want to, but it is a possibility that you could. Um, but nevertheless... I am really happy with this purchase. Uh, I thought it was getting, when I ordered it, uh, I ordered this off Banggood. And it took a few weeks to get here. Uh, it wasn't too crazy bad, but it did take a little. A couple weeks or so. Uh, more faster than they, than they said. So I got it almost two weeks faster. So I'm really happy with that. Um, but like I said, it's got kind of a carbon graphite look there. Um, uh, it looks really nice the way it's trimmed out. 
It's a very good looking controller. I was expecting toy grade when I ordered this. I figured I would get the functionality and have to give up, you know, the good looks. Hey, this thing looks awesome. This is a nice controller. I'm telling you what. I got this. Eight. Uh, it come with one, which I got the mini one. Uh, and I got eight. I think it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, four, ten channels, I think it is, and four, uh, six channels with gyros. Everything I got has gyros that I can use in it. And light kits. They come with the light kit built. To, why doesn't everybody do that? That makes it so much nicer. With the light kits built right in it to plug your lights in so that you can turn them on and off with your controller. I mean, that makes perfect sense. Uh, you know, it's time for Spectrum and Futaba and some of these uh, other big name companies to get on board with this. Give the people what they want. You know what I'm saying? Dino for President 2024. We need to give the people what they want. We need to uh, give them functionality uh, in these. You know, we're tired of two and three channel radios. I'm just saying. Uh, we want to be able to turn our lights on and off. We want to be able to work our dig. We want to be able to put first and second gear in there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of functionality that we need. And if this small controller can have 10 channels, this little tiny, let me show you this real quick. I didn't mean for this video to get this long. This, and, and it's big, I guess. Uh, if you're thinking it's big, uh, yeah, I guess it is big, but that's a 10 channel. That is a 10 channel, uh, receiver. So now the 10 channel ones don't have light kits, but you've got 10 channels. You can make any of the channels you want light kits, but anyhow, the 10 channels don't have the light kit built in, um, uh, not unless you can use it. There may be, you may be able to use that as a light kit. I don't know. I just got this thing. Uh, but let's open up one of the sixes. The six channels. And look how small of a footprint. That is a six channel. That is extremely small. That's like an inch. Less than an inch wide probably. And probably inch and an eighth long maybe. Maybe an inch and a half. It ain't an inch and a half. It's, it's probably, a, I don't know. I got a ruler here somewhere, but it's small. Let's just say that. You know, this is for a six channel radio with light kit. This does have these on this side here are the lights. So uh, it's already programmed in. Uh, very good. And like I said, the instruction manual, not very impressive. I will say that. Um, we will have a full in depth video on this radio. Uh, I will show you some links of other people that have done those. I've only found one really good one. I'm sure there's a lot of people getting these and doing videos on them, so there's probably more than that. Uh, but anyhow, these things are awesome. I, like I said, I haven't got to use it yet, but so far I'm very impressed with my purchase. I'm uh, very glad with it. Spectrum, Futaba, uh, you all get on board. Start giving us what we want. We want more channels. We want functionality. Uh, you know, we want gyros and telemetry. We want all that stuff figured in. Quit making, uh, you know, small radios that we don't want. You know, make a radio that we like, you know, and we'll stay with you. We, you know, we in the hobby, uh, I love Spectrum. Uh, I like Futaba. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of other ones that are good as well. Dumbo RC is where it's at right now. Dumbo RC. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Dumbo RC. 200 bucks. $200. Uh, everything. Less than $200 for everything I got. So I can run almost 10 trucks. I think it was eight. I can run nine trucks. I thought I was going to be able to run 10, but I can only run nine. Nine trucks, $188. That was the total. You can't beat that. I, you know, you can't buy a, you can't buy a rugged with one on sale for that, you know, for one truck. And this has crazy functionality. And and you know that if you buy a rugged five channel radio and it's on sale 
guess what you, how many channels you get? Three, a three channel radio. You know, uh, it's crazy. Give us what we want. We want some functionality. We want Dumbo RC. There's an, a few other companies that are doing this. I'm anxious to see what they've got. Check it out. I will be doing a review on this and see how it works, how the range is, uh, how the speed is. Uh, I mostly do crawler stuff, so it's not going to be an issue. Like I said, I have two DX6Rs. I have two of these. <laughs> so, uh, very high-tech radios. You know, they feel great. I, you know, I love them. But I need something on my scale builds where I can have more channels. I, I need something where I can have that 10 channels. I can put it to use. Uh, you know, the last big scale build I did, I had to put some push buttons on the bed of it because I just ran out of channels and I wanted to be able to turn the lights on and off. Uh, you know, rock lights and things like that. No more push buttons for Dino. I got me a Dumbo. That's what I'm talking about. Double D. That's what I'm talking about. Anyhow, this has been fun. Sorry it's been a long video, but you never know. One of these days, I'll see you guys on the rocks. Like and subscribe.